As we know, starting five is the best way to get rep in NBA 2K25, but the only way that, that is achievable is by winning games and getting super high teammate grades, which in today's video, I will show you how to do. What is up YouTube? It's your boy Risk and I am back with another banger. Now, a few days ago I uploaded a video talking about the best way to get rep and showing how it's done in the starting five mode. Now, one thing I really didn't go into too much detail about was how can we be winning every single game, getting the most rep possible while also having the most fun possible. So that's what we'll be doing in today's video. I'll be breaking down every single tip that I know to give you guys to help you do those three things I just said. Win, get more rep, and have fun while playing the starting five mode but before we get into things if you find this video helpful please drop a like hit that big red subscribe button and hit the notification bell and set it to all notifications so you can be notified every time i upload videos like this in the future and with that being said let's get into tip number one so the first tip i have for you guys revolves around picking the right team now there is only about three teams you should ever consider picking to use in this mode the first team would be the Phoenix Suns and we're strictly liking the Phoenix Suns because you have the ability to have Kevin Durant, Grayson Allen and Devin Booker on your team all very good three point shooters and that's what you're looking for in this game mode having your AIs able to hit down open shots. So this is a team I would recommend if you're using a build as a shooting guard build or even a center build to kind of replace Bradley Beal or, or Nurkic. I would be picking the Phoenix Suns. Now the next team we have here is the Los Angeles Lakers and this would be my team for my point guard builds. If you are a point guard position, you want to be replacing D'Lo on this team and you're still going to have Austin Reeves, Rui Hachimura, LeBron James and Anthony Davis around you. They're all going to hit open shots and most importantly, they're going to defend and Anthony Davis is going to be able to set screens and catch lobs and having the ability to throw lobs is going to help you win a lot more games in this mode. And then the last team we have here is the Boston Celtics, which in my opinion would be the best team to use if you are on a center or power forward build. Strictly for the fact of having Drew Holiday and Derek White as your backcourt, that is going to allow them to actually defend, you know, the other person you're playing. If they're in a point guard build, a shooting guard build, they're going to be the best defenders possible to help you out there. And they're going to hit a lot of open shots. So now we're going to dive into how are we actually going to score points in this game mode and for starters it's going to be doing this behind the back move off the screen that you just saw right there now i'm gonna slow this down for you guys so you could dive into the explanation of this really quickly but pretty much this is going to be the best move to do to create open space and you know just get off an open shot you're just calling for that screen and when that screen hits you're crossing over to the right and then you're doing that behind the back to the left and you're going to get an open shot nine out of ten times and in the event that you do not get open, you could either reset. Patience is a big part of this mode, having the patience to reset and, you know, just let things come naturally. But in the event that you don't have time to do that, just pull it like I just did right here. This game mode is on rookie, guys. It is a rookie difficulty mode, so you'll be able to just shoot right in their face. And this is with a build right here that has a 78 three-pointer. So imagine if you're a guard with a 90 plus three-pointer, you could hit in their face consistently so either way off this move whether you get open off of it or you don't you pull that thing and you're gonna hit that shot very consistently but this is just one of many different moves that you could use to kind of abuse the ai and get open in this mode my next one here is actually going to be a triple threat all right so essentially what you're going to be doing here is just calling for a screen and doing a triple threat when that screen hits and you'll see the ai is going to run into the screen you're going to get that little speed boost and you're going to get wide open nine out of ten times and the only thing you really need to know when doing this is make sure that when you're calling for a screen you're picking a player that is being guarded by an ai because the ais will sit down and they will not play up and it's just going to lead to a wide open shot and if you're wondering how to actually pick um which you know person you want to come set a screen all you're doing is on xbox pressing lb is going to bring up the icons and you just pick which player you want to set a screen but ultimately especially as a point guard there's so many different ways where you could abuse the ai's you see me here just literally messing around trying things out and i still managed to get open off the ai pretty much pairing any dribble moves with a screen is going to get you open and this is something you could just search up search up dribble tutorials the best moves to create space and use any of them there's so many different moves that could work to this it's not one specific move 
and all of these moves combined are just going to make you unguardable you know offensively and you're just going to be scoring every single possession as long as you're hitting your shots which is why when playing this mode if you want the highest chance to win i highly recommend playing on a guard build now that doesn't mean it's not impossible to get it done on a taller build as there's also different ways you could score as you see here you could just simply set screens if you're a taller shooting center or any shooting build is a little bit taller that can't access dribble moves simply setting a screen as you see here without even doing a single actual dribble move will still get you open looks pretty consistently and aside from that you're just gonna have to focus a lot on running pick and roll whether you're the one with the ball in your hands or the one setting the screens it's going to be a very effective you know way to score and get open especially against the ais because off the roll you know the ai is either going to pick up or it's not all right so you just have to make that decision and be able to trust you know passing up the ball to the ais i promise you they'll make it it's on rookie difficulty especially if you're picking these teams and recommending to you all of these players are great they're going to hit these contested layups these contested jumpers so just trust your ais all right i promise you these guys are more trustworthy than people in the rec all right and if you're an even taller center, you know, seven foot one, seven foot two, seven foot three, just paint mash. Honestly, like I said, one rookie difficulty, none of these, you know, NBA players can really guard your my player, especially if you're one of those post scoring builds. Just take those contested layups. They'll go in every time for you. And that's pretty much all you got to do. So now we're going to talk about what can we be doing on defense to help us actually prevent that ball from going in the hoop because obviously everyone you play is going to be doing pretty much the same things i just told you to do on offense so how are we going to be able to stop that all right and like i said earlier i like playing this game mode on a point guard build because as a point guard you also have the ability of doing a lot of different custom defensive settings when you press L, B, and A, which like I said, is only available if you are a point guard build, you're going to get access to changing the matchups, um, customizing the on-ball pressure, which is very important. You're going to put all these on-ball pressure to tight, to smother. It's going to make it to where the AIs are going to be guarding them at the three-point line even closer. You're not going to give up free three-point shots that you would have if you didn't have the option of changing these settings and you could even change the matchups get better defenders on the better offensive players and it is just a huge advantage to be able to do these settings and you can even do things like half court press full court press zone defense there's just so many different things you could incorporate into your defense giving different looks and just making offense for the other player as frustrating as possible but like i said this is only something you could do as a point guard so what about for my non-point guard builds Pretty much what you want to do is what you're going to see me doing here just doing a lot of craziness a lot of randomness to get in the opponent's head so here you see me trying to double team him because he was doing all those op drill moves i was showing you guys so i'm trying to double team him preventing that action which you could actually double team by holding lb and just doing this double team forcing him to pass and you're going to see the ai is going to naturally rotate on defense especially if you have a good defensive team like boston with high defensive ratings the players are going to rotate so sending double teams at you know the user guard you know just getting in their head you see here i even force a shot clock violation with this defensive strategy and this is also why i told you to pick teams like boston la phoenix because those are teams that the ais could shoot when you play someone like a guy in the knicks he has mitchell robinson so i'm able to do this you know more comfortably knowing he can't even shoot a three if worse happens and he gets open and then last but not least teammate grade is very important if you want to get the most rep possible in this game mode and really the biggest tip i can give you guys is don't do dumb mistakes don't shoot smothered shots it will kill your teammate grade don't do dumb fouls it will kill your teammate grade and do a lot more of passing setting screens especially alley oops pick and rolls assist screens to assist all that's going to help your teammate grade go up very easily and by not doing the other things it's not going to go down you'll consistently get a's and a pluses etc but with that being said that's all i got for you guys on how to dominate this mode in all phases of the game so if you found this video helpful please drop a like hit that big red subscribe button hit the notification bell and set it to all notifications so you can be notified every time i upload videos like this in the future and with that being said it's your boy risk and i'm out